guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tawny and in today's video, I have another denim review for you guys. If you've been following my channel for a little while now, you'll notice that I'm a little bit denim obsessed, okay? I admit it, I love denim. I love trying new pairs of jeans. I love classic denim. I like trying trendier brands and I'm always on the hunt for the perfect pair of jeans. And spoiler alert, I think I might have found that with this pair right here. And they are the very, very popular wedgie straight jeans from Levi's. If you are as denim obsessed as I am, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you can see more videos like this one in the future. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I went ahead and picked up a pair of jeans that I hadn't tried for quite a few years. I tried these jeans on maybe three years ago and I don't know if I had a different body type back then or if the style was slightly different different but I did not love the way that they fit on me but it has been a while and I never did a review on these jeans for you guys so I decided to pick up the Levi's wedgie fit straight jeans and boy am I glad that I did because I love these jeans they are a high-rise jean with the classic button closure. However, there are only four buttons, which is interesting. Most of the high-rise jeans have five buttons, but be sure that this is still definitely a high-rise pair of jeans. And they are definitely a straight leg, very, very slightly tapered towards the bottom. I got them in the color Jive Sound, and these are in a size 26 waist and 28 length. These jeans fit me very snug around my waist and my hip area, almost a a little bit on the tight side. However, they are 99% cotton and 1% elastane. So they do have a little bit of a stretch and I have noticed, especially with Levi's jeans, their stretch styles, the ones with the 1% elastane in them, tend to be a little bit tighter right off the shelf than the 100% cotton ones. But I know as I wear these in a little bit, they are going to feel a little bit more stretched out and comfortable along the waist area. Not too much to the point where they're losing their shape because they do have the elastane. Once you throw them in the wash, they will kind of shrink back up to that original size. But I find these very, very flattering on my waist and my bum area, just like the wedgie fit says that they are. Now, personally, I don't find much of a difference between the butt on the wedgie fit and the 501s. If you guys will remember from, I think probably my previous video to this one, I did also purchase as a part of this order, the 501 jeans, the original ones. And I think that they look pretty similar along the waist and the bum area, similar to my 501 skinny jeans. It's all very similar around the waist and hip area, except like I said, that these ones are a little bit more snug. But what I love about these these jeans is that they do come in the 28 leg length which for example the 501 originals did not even though they're very similar in the straight leg portion and I love the color of these jeans they have a very subtle fading around the thigh which I do like but they don't have any distressing which is one reason why I actually did not end up keeping the 501 originals from my previous video and I love that I don't have to hem these I think that these look amazing with flats with heeled sandals sandals, heeled booties, which is great for the upcoming winter fall months. So I am super, super excited to style these and bring these on to my winter vacations that I have coming up. I wouldn't say that these are super comfortable for everyday work from home wear if I'm going to be sitting down in a desk all day, but I don't typically wear jeans on those days anyway. I'm usually wearing workout clothes because I work out a little bit in the morning and in the afternoon. So, so jeans aren't really a part of my everyday. These are definitely more more of a weekend and going out pair of jeans, but they are still pretty comfortable if you did want to wear them to the mall or something a little bit more casual and going out and about. You could also size up if you do want them to be super comfortable, like right out the box. But personally, I am on a little bit of a weight loss journey. I have put on a few pounds since my wedding, so I'm expecting to lose about five pounds anyway. And I think once I get to my goal weight that these will actually fit me super, super comfortably. Like the 501s and most of Levi's jeans, the way Wedgie fits do have a very classic leather tab. It doesn't say 501, obviously, because these are not 501s, but they do still have a little bit of Levi's branding on that leather tab. And of course, the ever so popular red tab 
along the pocket. I love Levi's branding. I think it's so classic. These jeans retail for $98, I believe, on the website. However, I did get them on some sort of discount. I can't remember if it was 30% off or if they were on sale and I got an additional percentage off afterward. But definitely check out the website and download Rakuten. I mentioned this in my previous video. Rakuten is Ebates. You can get cash back on a bunch of purchases. If you use my referral link in the drop down bar, you can get at least, I think, $20 off your first purchase in addition to the percentage cash back. And let me tell you, Levi's always has really good cash back on Rakuten, sometimes even as high as 10 or 15%. So definitely check that out and scour the website for coupons to get a really good price for your Levi's. But that's all that I have for you guys today. This was a super short review, but I hope that it was informative and you liked seeing the try on portion. If you did, please let me know in the comments and give it a thumbs up. Again, don't forget to subscribe down below to see more videos like this one and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!